All right, guys. Lesson 30, page 183. It's Tuesday. Start with your name. Let's get some help on this assignment here. We're working on our fractions, our decimals, and percents, and how those work together. Take a look at number one. Number set one says on a 100 point math quiz, 36 points can be earned by correctly completing division problems. How many points can be earned by completing other kinds of problems? So this is like a missing add-on. We got other kinds of problems plus our 36 division problems equals 100. Whenever we have a missing add-on, remember we're going to that's right subtract. So we'll cross out 10 and make it a 9. 10 minus 6 is 4, and 9 minus 3 is 6. The other problems are 64. I'm gonna say 64 problems. Number two. The first month of the year is January, which has 31 days. After January, how many days are left in a common year? Now we need to know how many are in a common year, and if you don't remember, you can look it up in Lesson 28. So I turn back a few pages to Lesson 28, and here comes my common year. Common year, 365. Now maybe you knew that already. And then you wouldn't have to look it up. 365 minus January, which is 31 days, would give you what? And then your label should be days. And that one you could solve on your own. Number three. Each quart of juice could fill four cups. How many quarts of juice will we need to fill 28 cups? So we got to take 28 total cups and divide it by four cups per quart. 28 divided by 4 gives me what? And that would be quarts. Obviously, the answer is 7. Okay? So these ones you got to figure it out on your own and put them over here, okay? All right, look at number 4. Lorena used five 45 cent stamps to mail a heavy envelope. What was the total value of the stamps on the envelope? Five groups of 45 cents. Easy multiplication one. Don't forget your decimal point and your dollar sign and your answer. You can solve that one on your own. Number five, draw two vertical lines that stay the same distance apart. Vertical goes up and down. Lines have arrows. So they would be parallel, even though we haven't learned parallel yet. It's coming up. So make sure you get that in your answer key. Vertical lines have heroes. All right, and then number six, the factor one. Which the factors of 25 are the same as 50? So let's go ahead and list all of them the 25. Start with one in itself. Two, nope, it's odd. Three, nope. Four goes into 25? Nope. Five, that's it. One, five, and 25. Now 50 has more, and yesterday I did 50 when it said 60, so sorry for that mistake on my part. 1 and 50, it's even, so 2 times what equals 50? 2 times 25. 3, nope. 4, I'm sliding down the 4's in my math folder here. Nope. 5, yeah, 5 times 10. Alright, which ones are the same? 1, 5, and 25. Okay. All right, good. Today's number seven. It says, what fraction of the triangle is shaded? What fraction of the triangle is shaded? Remember, fractions are part over a whole. I'm going to write that on my paper so I remember it. Part over a whole, which means i got to count the shaded first. Count them with me. One, two. So that's the part. Now the whole means you got to count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two ninths. So A is two ninths. And now B, what fraction triangle is not shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the ninth doesn't change, so it's seven ninths. So B would be seven ninths. All right, guys, why don't you turn the page? Let's take a look at a couple at the end. Number 25 says the high temperature one summer day in Madrid, Spain, 
is shown on the thermometer. What was the high temperature? So we got to look on the temperature. Celsius degrees, 10, 20, 30. Uh, what are we going up by? Well, let's count by ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's not ones. Let's count by twos. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Ding, ding, ding. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Ding, ding, ding. 32, 34 degrees Celsius. All right, number 27 comes from today's lesson. It says two quarters is what? Decimal part of a dollar. So two quarters is 50 cents, so it would be written like what? Decimals are written 0 0.50. And what's the percent of it? And I'm going to teach you in today's lesson how to use your folder. One half, 50 cents, 50%. All right, very good. Check me out for number 30 and any other problem that you'll have today in our Zoom call. God bless your day.